I bought a 3D printer. It feels like it's been raining here in Dallas for a month. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but it's been raining for a really long time. And there's not much you can do outside in this weather. So for yet another indoors weekend, I decided a fun project would be to assemble a 3D printer. Since this is my first 3D printer, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and did a lot of research and decided to buy the Creality 3D Ender 3. It's received some really good reviews and it's supposed to produce really high quality prints considering its price of just under $200. I'm hoping it's not too difficult to assemble and it doesn't take too long, but there are lots of resources online if you need help. Let's see how it goes. The first step is to attach the two uprights to the base module. Put the M5x45 screws through the base module and then attach your uprights one at a time. Remember to verify the orientation of your uprights. Next, attach your display module and your power supply. Use two M5x8 screws to attach your display module to the frame. Next, use two M4x20 screws to attach your power supply to the frame. Remember to select the correct input voltage to match your local mains. Next, you need to attach the Z-axis end stop. Slide this down your left upright and make sure that the bottom of this end stop is approximately 32 millimeters away from the bottom of your frame. Next, attach the Z-axis stepper motor. The stepper motor is attached with two countersunk M4 by 18 screws. I found it easier to disassemble the motor and then screw these in. Then insert the Z-axis dry screw. Next, we're going to put together the X-axis assembly. We're going to attach the X-axis stepper motor and extruder assembly to one of the top frames. This is a little tricky. You're going to need to use the back end of the hex key provided in the box. Next, we're going to attach the hot end assembly and roller bracket. After you slide in the hot end assembly, screw the roller bracket in using M4 by 16 screws. Next, we're going to thread the X-axis drive belt. This is a little tricky too. You need to thread the belt around the hot end assembly, roller bracket and the X-axis stepper motor. Once you've wrapped this around, put the ends of the belt in the slots of the hot end assembly. Now we're going to attach the belt tensioner. Wrap the belt over the tensioner and then pull it outward before tightening the screws. Next, fix the x-axis machine on the assembly. Position the rollers in the slots in the uprights. Once it latches on, screw in the Z-axis spindle into the thread guide. Now screw on the top rail. This rail is attached with just 4 M5 by 25 screws. The plastic end caps go on the ends of the rail. Now we're going to attach the spool holder to the top rail. 
The spool holder is attached on the opposite side of the power supply. The mechanical assembly of your 3D printer is now complete. Finally, we're going to connect all the electrical cables. The cable marked Z is connected to the Z-axis stepper motor. The other Z connector goes to the Z-axis end stop. Next connect the power supply cable. The small X connector goes to the X-axis end stop. One of the X connectors goes to the X-axis stepper motor. The cable marked E goes to the extruder stepper motor. Connect the grey display cable to the EXP3 socket on the back of the display. Finally connect the Bowden tube to your extruder assembly. So that whole assembly process took around two hours, but that's including moving the camera around a hundred times. It was very, very easy to assemble. The instructions are very clear and all the parts are really easy to find. It seems like it's really well made. The metal frame is really sturdy and uh, it's, it doesn't feel delicate in any way. I bought this blue filament from Gearbest as well and I'll link it in the description below. I think it was a very good purchase for under $200. And I'm excited to try out different projects on this. Now my purpose with buying this is to further explore automation in the building construction industry. Maybe simulate 3D printed concrete houses on a smaller scale with obviously different materials. And maybe test out other robotic automated methods of construction using items that I print on this Creality 3D Ender 3 printer. The YouTube videos that I've watched recommended performing a few upgrades on this printer so stay tuned for a video where I'm going to do that. I can't wait to try this out and share with you what I learned from it, both in terms of 3D printing and automation. So until then, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.